Forced out of their homes because of a carbon monoxide leak. And yeah, tonight, families at a court were told that they can move back into their apartments, but when they got there, they had to deal with yet another setback. News Ace Jamie Muro on the scene in New Haven with the latest. It has been a chaotic couple of days for many people here living at De Diego Court, being shuffled around from hotel to hotel. Today, they learned some good news that they can finally go home. Well, some of them can go home. The drama didn't end the January night. Families were forced out of their De Diego apartments in New Haven because of a CO leak. Take Margaret Brody, for example. This toilet will not flush. I've been taking cups, emptying my grandbaby's poop. I have not pooped. I've been emptying his poop. Living conditions at West Haven's Econo Lodge were so bad, she demanded to move to La Quinta. They're not even in the office right now. Since then, she's been trying to reach Northwood Investments to figure out when she and her four-year-old grandson, David, ah! can move back home. I mean, he knows that he's not home, and he don't like it. January 15th, more than a dozen people were forced out after carbon monoxide wasn't being vented properly from furnaces. Five went to the hospital. Since then, residents have been waiting for things to get fixed. Finally, Tuesday afternoon, the city signed off on the work. Yay! Excited, happy, you know, to be home. What did you miss about home? Be, uh, all my food. <laughs> you missed all your food. <laughs> per city law, a new carbon monoxide detector was even installed. But Margaret and David wouldn't be home for long. Even with the furnace on, there was no heat. A joyous homecoming cut short. Oh, we have to go back to the hotel. They got the heaters plugged up. They, the stove is on. The water's a little hot, but there's no heat. So we have to go back. Wait a little longer. Yep. Again. Speaking with Eric Johnson, who is the city's director for the Livable City Initiative, he says that inspectors are going to come through here and check regularly to make sure things are operating as they should. He said there's more than 200 units that also need new exhaust vent systems. There was a quick fix, but crews should be working on these apartments till mid-February. In the meantime, he says that the company that runs these apartments most likely will see a fine. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8.